morning to dear students i'm anshu ma'am a science teacher and today again i'm here to teach you the next chapter of science that is chapter 4 animal fibers from chemistry in last video i finished chapter 1 now let's start chemistry animal fibers from chapter 4 before that i again i want to show you the science book this is your science book living science for class 7 for this session let's start fibers in class 6 we have studied that fibers are very thin strands used to make clothes fibers make yarns and yarn make clothes that is fabrics fibers are the thin strands used for making yarns and clothes why do we need clothes we need clothes to protect our body from heat cold rain dust germs insects etc we wear different types of clothes depending on the climate like in summer season we wear clothes cotton clothes because cotton is a very very soft fiber it keeps the body cool because it absorbs sweat similarly in winter season we wear different varieties of clothes like woolen clothes because wool traps the air and air is a bad conductor of heat so it prevents the body's heat from escaping and our body remains warm similarly in rainy season we wear cotton clothes which is very very comfortable so we must wear clean and comfortable clothes because we need to wear clean clothes and comfortable clothes because clean clothes keep us away from the diseases if we are wearing dirty clothes it will cause a lots of skin diseases now let's start about fibers its varieties there are two types of fibers first one is natural fibers and the second is synthetic fibers natural fibers are again of two types plant fibers and animal fibers natural fibers are those fibers which is obtained from nature like plants and animals cotton jute flax etc are plant fibers but animal fibers like wool obtained from fleece of sheep silk obtained from cocoons of silk worm these all are natural fibers the plant fibers the main base is cellulose and the animal fibers are made up of proteins which is a complex compound and makes the major part of our body now wool is mainly obtained from flesh of the sheep the flesh of the sheep means the outer hair of this sheep we know that all the wool indian animals like sheep yak goat llama alpacas they contains a thick coat of hair on their body and the flesh of the sheep have two types of fiber the coarse wool here and the soft under here which provides the wool for making clothes now some other animals like alpacas llamas camel also provide good varieties of wool kashmir wool obtained from the kashmir goat angora from angora rabbit more here is obtained from angora goat yak wool is very famous in tibet and ladakh these all are good varieties of wool but the main source of obtaining wool is flesh of sheep now there are some certain steps for obtaining wool from the sheep number one is rearing rearing is the process in which sheep are reared in certain places where the rain is very very low and they are kept in the proper places they are fed on mixture of pulses grasses dry leaves grains corn jowar bajra etc their life span is 10 to 12 years and in winter season they are kept indoors to protect them from harsh winter and they are fed on some dry fodder leaves grasses etc in india the sheep are reared in rajasthan himachal pradesh sikkim him Arunachal Pradesh, Ladakh, Tibet, etc. The second step is shearing. The process of removing wool 
is known as shearing. It is done in hot season only. And the shearing is done with the help of large razors or shearing machines. The self third step is scouring in which the sheared wool is again washed with soap and water to clean it so that all the dirt, germs etc. are removed. Now sorting is the third step in which the scored wool is now grouped into different categories or we can say that sorting consists of separating the fibers into different textures. Now the next step is removing burr. The burrs are very soft, fluffy fibers which is removed manually. After that, these wool are dyeing into different color because the natural color of wool is white, black or brown. So it is dyed in different varieties of colors. And the last step is making yarn. In this process, now finally the wool is prepared. Now we prepare the yarn from the wool. The yarn is spun. How? First of all, the yarn is spun. First of all, it is weaved or knitted into sweater or woolen clothes. That's all. I'm ending today's topic. Have a nice day.